Hi, I'm Alan Isaac. I'm currently the Vice President of International Cricket Council. And I think this is just an amazing display of cricket memorabilia. To see so much of the history and the traditions of the game in one room is just outstanding. So there are a number of outstanding displays, but the, it's particularly uh, fascinating to be able to see the film and the clips of the, uh, the test matches back in the 50s and the 60s and notice the difference in the techniques of the players. Okay. okay. I am A.K. Khan, Acting President of Cricket South Africa. And uh, I must just tell you, Mr. Bhatia is a very, very honorable friend of the cricketing public of South Africa because over a number of years, he's donated large amounts of equipment to our underprivileged areas. And uh, we really and sincerely appreciate that. And that relationship is long lasting. It's way before my time as well. Uh, as I say, he's a great friend of the cricketing public of South Africa. And in terms of the museum, I must tell you I'm overwhelmed. He's invited me before, but it's my first time here, and it's absolutely amazing to see all the stars of the past and the current uh, players in world cricket and all the uh, uh, stuff that he's got here is excellent and really amazing. Uh, it's really nostalgic because it brings a lot of history particularly for me in the old West Indies uh, stalwarts that I see here when we were growing up. So it's an amazing experience and I think it's a fantastic uh, museum. Okay. I'm ready to go. Am I okay? You ready? Yeah, ready to go. Uh, hi, I'm Wally Edwards. I'm chairman of Cricket Australia and an ex-test cricketer for Australia. Uh, this is the first time I've seen the museum and uh, I have to say it's uh, unbelievably good. Uh, I've really enjoyed walking around and look at all, looking at all the different exhibits about the, the different teams and the different countries and the different players and uh, it's a credit to Cheyenne for, for the work he's done. How's that? Indrajit Bindra, former president of the Board of Control for Cricket in India and present president Punjab Cricket Association and principal advisor International Cricket Council. It's been, been a great pleasure to visit this museum. Mr. Sham Bhatia is a very dear friend and a lover of the game of cricket. He's been a great servant of the game. I met him, uh, first time I met him in the, with Mr. Raj Singh Dungarpur another great servant of the game of cricket and uh, patron of game in India. And uh, I saw, it was very emotional moment when I saw the corner which is dedicated to Mr. Raj Singh Dungapur, with a very dear common friend of Sham and me. And this museum is uh, something unique. I have visited uh, many cricket museums and halls of fame of uh, other games uh, disciplines in America. We also setting up uh, our uh, hall of fame in Mohali. But this is unique. It's set up by an individual and not by an institution. Well, I would mistaken Sham Bhatia is an institution, is more than an individual. He is, uh, represents the true lovers of the game uh, and the people who have passion for the game. I made this game unique in uh, not only in the subcontinent but in the entire cricket playing world. I wish him uh, all the best. We are delighted to know that he is getting a Mother Teresa Award for his care for the children uh, uh, of the down poor children coming from slum areas. He has done a pioneering work and may God bless him and give him many more years so that he can continue the good work for the game of cricket and promoted in different parts of the world. Wish him all the best. And uh, that's all I'd like to say for this. Thank you.